Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of my Parkitect Sandbox Park. Now, um, I've gotten a lot of uh, tips from uh, from you guys in the comments, so I really appreciate that. And with those tips, uh, I actually got to work a bit in my park. So first off, uh, for this roof of the green building, uh, I actually got a tip from Astrotron to actually vary the colors a bit, to give it a bit of a weathered look. And I must say, uh, I, uh, I like it uh, much better the way it uh, looks now. So uh, thanks for the tip. I also placed some extra pillars uh, over here and I also recolored these uh, buildings a bit more, placed some umbrellas. So I uh, basically just did lots of uh, small details uh, throughout the area. I think it uh, <coughs> makes the area come to life uh, much more. Also placed a little pipe around this, uh, and this water uh, spout over here. Placed this flower here in the middle. And of course uh, I also added uh, water here under the log flume. So yeah, thanks a lot for all the tips, uh, I really appreciate it, and I think it uh, just makes the park look so much nicer. Anyway, um, for this episode I want to uh, expand the park uh, into this in this direction. Now, for the layout of the park, I uh, kind of want to do it the same as I did in Class Action Mega Park. So, uh, somewhere over here, I'll make kind of like a roundabout section. And it will probably be fun to have an observation tower in the middle. So the guests can immediately uh, get a good view of the park and decide where they want to go. And uh, yeah, after that, uh, late or in later episodes maybe, the park will get another uh, extension here to the main street. And probably over here somewhere will be another roundabout thing where uh, yeah, the park can expand in different uh, areas. So yeah, uh, again, just like in Class Action Mega Park, I want to have several themed areas uh, in the park. I think that will be the most uh, fun way to uh, go in this park. So again, I'll probably have like a canyon uh, section again, Wild West. Uh, I'll probably have a bit of a bigger um, yeah, haunted area in this park, because I saw uh, I have a lot of uh, haunted uh, or spooky, uh, spooky themed scenery. So that will probably be a good thing to do. We can probably also do a steampunk area, so there's lots of uh, steamworks uh, stuff here as well or science fiction, I can probably combine the two. And we can probably also do kind of like a foresty, uh, wooded area. And this uh, part over here is probably a good uh, spot for that. But yeah, I'm um, not really sure about these themes yet. Uh, I can still always decide to do something else. But I think uh, uh, some of these themes will be good to have in the park. Anyway, um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, get to work on this uh, path extension here. And I will also uh, already build an observation tower in the middle here somewhere. Alright, this uh, first plaza is now done. No, this is not a launched <laughs> observation tower. This is rather uh, a normal one. But uh, I like uh, I like its location here in the middle. I decorated it with a little border around it. Some uh, potted uh, flowers. A few trees around it, some rocks. Um, yeah, just, uh, just added some simple uh, scenery around it. 
Now, like I already said, the ideas uh, for the yeah for me to branch out from this area into themed areas. So I kind of want to have the branching happen uh, over here. Um, so here I made this little uh, section, and there will be paths heading in two different directions here. So I kind of plan to have this a themed area, and this will be a differently themed area. And here we'll have another one of these uh, roundabouts, also leading to several themed areas. So I'm not really sure how big I'm going to make, make these themed areas, but uh, I'll uh, do my best to make something nice out of it. Now, um, these areas over here, right next to this uh, roundabout, um, I kind of want to have them uh, yeah, generically themed. So uh, I'll probably just uh, fit some uh, trail rides over here, right next to the path, which are not really themed to any... Uh, uh, yeah, not in in ex in any uh, particular theme, and I'll do the same along the path here. Anyway, um, this game has quite a nice uh, selection of uh, trail rides and uh, gen other gentle rides. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to add one or two uh, in this area, right next to the path. <laughs> Alright, I think a top spin is the perfect addition uh, to this little area here. Now I put it on a little island, and that's the way how I like to make uh, top spins. And I also added some of these uh, yeah, fountains in front, because that's something you'll often find in front of a top spin, uh, where the fountains will almost reach the the riders and get them wet. And on some uh, top spins, like the one in uh, Walibi Holland, for example. Uh, they actually completely uh, soak the riders. <laughs> yeah, really happy with the way this uh, top spin uh, turned out. All right, just going to add a few more lamps here to this uh, to this area. I think this uh, top spin uh, area is uh, is pretty much done. So uh, I might also add a ride on this side, or uh, I'll just uh, make some buildings. Uh, I'll have to check. But yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, build something over here.
All right, I had another expansion with this uh, carousel over here. I think this area is starting to look uh, quite nice. Now something which I've also uh, started doing is uh, decorating some of these uh, queues. You can actually place uh, some of these uh, uh, potted plants on them. I think they make the queues look real look really nice. Yeah, it definitely uh, um, yeah, adds a nice touch to have these uh, potted flowers here uh, on the queue. It uh, definitely makes them look uh, much, much nicer. Alright, um, I think that's enough for this area in this uh, episode. Might do a little bit more work um, yeah, off camera. Now, something which I still want to do in this episode is fill in this uh, small area over here. I think I can uh, fit a nice uh, little shop here. So that's what I'm going to do uh, next. Alright, I think that's enough uh, additions to the park for this episode. park uh, expanded quite a lot, almost doubled in size, so uh, I think that's, uh, that's a good achievement for uh, this episode. Anyway, um, I got some new patrons uh, recently, so I think uh, now is a good moment to give them a spot in the park. Alright, I haven't placed a scarecrow in the park yet, so uh, that's uh, what I will do now. And name of this entertainer will be Pat Fink. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, deciding to support me, uh, Bart Fink. I uh, really uh, appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy your spot in the park. Now, next uh, entertainer will be uh, another patron who recently joined and his name is Menticore. I'll do a first name and last name. Menticore. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah. Very much uh, appreciated that you uh, decided to uh, support me and I hope you uh, enjoy your spot in the park uh, as well. You're now roaming around here in this uh, building. Alright, and then finally I'll add another patron to the park. And this patron's name is Duxel. He doesn't need a last name. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot for deciding to support me. Um, let me see. Yeah, you're uh, walking around over here. You're a red shark now. <laughs> All right. Park is uh, filling up nicely with uh, entertainers already. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, really happy with the progress that I made in this uh, episode. So just as a small recap of what I did in this episode. So uh, I first built this uh, roundabout here, this plaza, with the observation tower on top. After that I added the top spin that's over here on this little island. And I added this uh, merry-go-round here in the corner of this uh, plaza. And after that, uh, I added this little building here. 
Um, I had also added some customizable shops in here. Uh, what I like is that, uh, yeah, they uh, look more like shops that you would normally have inside a building. And yeah, you just like in Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, you can just uh, select uh, whatever uh, you want them uh, to sell. And the park def uh, desperately needed a place for guests to actually buy uh, some uh, food. A lot of them were really hungry. Alright, that was it for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me build. Um, if you liked this video, please consider giving it a like. It would really help uh, make my channel grow. And of course, if you want to see more of these videos, you can always subscribe to uh, so you get notified uh, whenever I make a new video. Alright, hope you enjoyed watching me build and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later. <laughs>